guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Gem from Gem's Fall Studio with Florist in Staffordshire and if you're not, welcome back. Today I will be going through how to make a traditional rose spray which is going to be three foot. Um, so what we're going to be using today is a single tray, one block of oasis, we have got 16 white avalanche roses, We've got 14 red Naomi roses, we've got 10 sprayed black roses which are black barrack, uh, eucalyptus and leather leaf. <laughs> because my suppliers didn't have any single trays, they only had double. So I've had to basically cut the double in half and tape it all together, but I thought that it might give you an insight of some troubles that florists can go through. So if they're taking an order and then your supplier doesn't have something on the day, you have to be creative in what you then do, whether it's mechanics or choosing of the flowers. So uh, this is what I've done and it works just as well as long as it's taped nicely. So I've soaked my oasis block properly. We're just going to pop that into the tray. Then we have got some waterproof uh, florist tape. And all we're going to do is wrap this around so if i come closer to you so you can see we're going to just tape it from the bottom like so and then wrap tightly not really tightly so it goes through all the oasis but just wrap it around i normally do it about four times so it's secure now when you're doing a three foot you only need one block um and you only need to wrap it round just at one point. So I'm just going to wrap it here because if you wrap it around the whole thing, then your stems won't get in, you won't be able to get a focal flower. So you need as much surface space on the oasis as possible. So that will do and that's not going to fall out and it's all lovely and secure. So if you are completely new to doing a coffin spray, um, I would suggest getting a tape measure and tape measuring how long three foot's going to be. But because I do these mostly every day, I know exactly how big something's going to be. I can gauge it really well. So this is a traditional spray. So we're going to be using leather leaf to make the shape of it. So I will just move this closer to you so you can see. Make sure it all gets in as well. I'm just going to have to gauge how big it's going to be. So if you cut about one and a half feet of leather leaf and just put it right at the bottom of where the oasis meets the tray and just pop it all the way in until the first layer of the leather leaf stems touch the oasis like so then we're just going to do the exact same on the other side now i think i'm going to have to put that just there so we have enough room, put that there hopefully it doesn't fall down and then what I do I just do exactly the same just a bit shorter so maybe just under a foot of the size of the leather leaf and put it right in the centre where the oasis meets the tray and do exactly the same so then it looks like this and you're going to be creating a diamond shape. So whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side, and that is at all angles in a traditional. So exactly the same on the other side. And then we'll cut them the same size as what we did in the centre. So just pop it on this side. And then exactly the same on the other side. And again, this side, just making sure you make it, make that diamond shape. Like if you've made the diamond shape, it's absolutely wonderful then. So that is going to be our first layer of greenery. Okay, 
So then we're just going to do exactly the same, but another layer higher, so about an inch up. We're just going to do exactly the same again. Okay, so just keep going round, doing exactly the same. And then once you've done the second layer, we're then going to want to fill in the top. So we'll just get smaller sprigs of leather leaf. So just a stem from the bigger stem and just pop those in and around the middle covering any gaps on the top like so but then we do want a focal point so we can see where our focal flower is going to go so if we just pop a leather leaf there so it looks like this so there's a higher point and we know where our centre point is going to be and then just keep taking little bits and just fill in all the gaps. Now I normally use in a three foot about a packet and a half of leather leaf. So there's 15 stems of eucalyptus in a packet of, 15 stems of eucalyptus, 15 stems in a packet of leather leaf. So I use about one and a half packets. Okay, then I'll just get a few bits more. And then just cover all the gaps in. Like so. So then you will have something that looks like this when it's greened up. Can you see that diamond shape? Then we've got some lovely eucalyptus, which I was obviously so keen to use. <laughs> And we are just going to go round with that as well, just filling in any gaps, just, it doesn't particularly matter where it goes, just as long as you're filling in all the gaps, because then it will be easier to place the flowers into. So once you've got all the greenery in there and you've covered all the gaps in, your spray should look something like this, with the greenery. Now, one thing that I would suggest doing is don't overthink it, just get on with it and do it because when I first started doing it, one of these would take me about an hour and a half and I'm not even joking because I used to be like, oh no, I need to take that out and put it there, put it there. The best advice I can give you is just go for it. They take me about from start to finish an hour soaking the oasis and getting everything ready like 15 minutes. So yeah. That's what I suggest, just don't put too much thought into it. Your creative ability will do it for you, basically. So let's get on to the flowers. Now, because this is an all rose three foot spray, I normally use 40 roses and my family wanted black, red and white roses. So with the black roses, what I was gonna say, it's sometimes really hard to get your hands on uh, black roses that have been grown in um, the black dye so they look like proper black roses what I do there is a rose that you can easily get your hands on from Holland or your supplier called black barrack roses and they do come still a bit red um, with sort of black tinges on so what I do I just get some oasis spray and just spray all the rest of it black so they look pure black I'm going to start with the red roses first. It doesn't really matter which colour you, you start with, but I want the red rose to be the focal point of the spray. So let me just move these roses over here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'll just put the rest over here for you. Okay, so it's definitely easier for you to see when I'm standing closer to you. So is that better? Okay. So as you can see, we've got the focal flower there and I'll try and not get my head in the way. Then we are just going to take another rose and pop it at this point here. Another rose and pop it, making sure the lengths are long enough so that it comes out further than the one that you've already put in. And then another red rose down here now i like to stagger them so they look like they're in diagonals so like stagger like this so there's more movement in there and then my roses will go down here that way 
like that. And then the rest of the red roses will stagger exactly the same but the opposite way to the ones on your right. So we'll get our next one. We'll pop it here. And as you can see, I'm doing them in different directions. So that one will look like it's facing more towards you than the other one. And then we shall pop one at the end as well. Making sure it's nice and secure into the oasis. Sorry, I've got my head in there. Okay, then I'm going to pop one here. So whatever you do this side, you've got to do that side. And whenever I do this side, I have to do the other side. So when you're doing these, I would properly recommend a Lazy Susan because the amount of times you have to go back and forth or just work blindly going backwards. So what I like to do, I like to do this side first and then the back. But for, for tutorial purposes, I will just leave it like this for now. So, one there. I'll put that there. And then I'll just go behind and do the same on the other side as well. Now, I'll move the camera so you can see it more clearly. So here we go. Whatever's happening on this side is also happening on this side, okay? And there's a bird eye, bird's eye view. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do exactly the same with the white roses. So just filling in where you can see gaps now really, making sure that it's all structured and then if you are doing it properly and it's all symmetrical you will then see that every point has a triangle, so everything is a triangle. Okay, so that's how you need to go about it. So if I just put these white ones in for now there we go so one here I'm really keeping to the diamond sort of shape and then I'll just go on and do the other side so I'm just going to continue doing the white ones on the other side as well, like so. Adding into any gaps possible. Make sure that's in the centre there. Oh, sliding everywhere. That one's a bit higher than the focal flower, so I'll just cut that down. Make sure nothing's higher than the focal flower because you want it to go in that diamond sort of shape. Okay, maybe one there. And one here. And there we have the reds and whites. Now we just need to add the black as well. Okay, so I'll just stand here to add the black ones just so you can see me popping them into the front as well. So we've got 10 more roses left. And we're just going to pop the black ones just into any other gaps that we can see. And we aren't going to use filler flower for this spray because... It's a traditional spray and they just wanted roses and foliage. There we go. So just filling in any other 
gap. So I'm just doing it at the back now as well. Now please leave a comment if you like black roses or what colours that you might like to use in your spray. Well, not your actual spray, but your favourite colours. And just finish it off. Two more. Let's put one there. And then one here. I might cut that too long. Yeah. Okay. So there we have it a black, white, and red traditional three foot spray. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you could kindly subscribe, like and comment any questions, I'll always get back to you. I would love that. And if you give a three foot rose spray a go watching my tutorials, I'd love to see it. Um, but yeah, I'll just tilt it up so you can have a better look at the spray. So this is a three foot traditional rose spray. Thanks for watching.